Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Before we get into today's video, honestly, I'm just gonna go ahead and set y'all down. We're gonna talk about life for a minute. I just wanna go ahead and address the big elephant in the room. Yes, I am no longer working for It's Just a Six. Before anything else is said, I just wanna go ahead and clear up a few questions for you guys, because I know there's gonna be questions, and I wanna make sure you hear it directly from me as well as Gavin like he did on his channel. First off, there is no beef between me and Gavin. If you've been following for a while, you'll know that I've been editing for Gavin for probably the last five or six years, and it's something that I've been very passionate about for a very long time. But over the last year or two, it just feels like business and friendship have kind of gotten in the way of each other. So I've just decided that it's probably best if I move on and we can both just spend time together as friends instead of boss and employee. And now last, since I'm not working for Gavin anymore, that pretty much frees up all of my time. So I'll be making content full time moving forward. I'm gonna be uploading a YouTube video probably once a week. I'm gonna be streaming almost every single day so you can go follow me on Twitch. And I'm also starting a gaming channel. So if you guys like the Twitch content, you can go follow my gaming channel, click up above to go see it. And that is going to be all footage from my live streams. So if you guys like the video games, definitely go follow the gaming channel because that's gonna be all the best moments from the stream. So with all that being said i'm glad to be back after almost a year of being inactive and i hope you guys really enjoy the uploads because i get to put maximum effort into these for the first time and i'm so excited so let's get into it the first pull after we're leaving the gate he's like oh sh this thing's way faster than the speed <laughs> all right we're gonna punch it warm up the tire something right here Okay guys, we are here at Atlanta Motorsports Park after an excruciatingly cold drive. And we're here with Gavin's new GTR. Bro, you ready to go fast in the yeah, GTR? I know, so fast, dude. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the helmet on. We're gonna get in the car, get out of this cold, hopefully. And we're gonna get on the track and see how the Z does compared to a GTR. This is gonna be the first time I've ever actually had a chance to compare this car being pro-charged to anything aside from Gavin's Turbo Miata. <laughs> It kind of just shat on, but we're not gonna we're not gonna talk about that too loud. Anyways, I'm feeling a little bit hopeful about it, but I don't really have that high of expectations, honestly. So let's find out. Oh yeah, you ready to go fast? I'm gonna try my best to keep up with you. The I'm gonna try. Here we go, getting on the track. We're just gonna do easy warm up, get the tires warm. Oh, yeah, the tires are squirrely, they're cold. Wow, the tires are real cold. Punch it, warm up the tire, something right here. Oh, yeah. To say the car is too loud, I'm gonna be a little upset. For real? You got you for sound, man. What's it at? 108. 108? Yeah, it blew way out. I've run this silencer and a lot of stuff like autocross, and it's always red under 100, so I'm kind of surprised by it being too loud. Short or okay, I'll come back out if it's too loud. Thank you. Okay, we're caught up to Gavin again. We'll see how this goes. Major brake 
Yeah. Uh oh. All right. First laps. How did it go? It went well. The car didn't break. So That's that was good. A good thing. It did drive back here, and it is not leaking any fluids this time. You're right. It's That's still exciting. perfectly. I can drive it home still. I'm happy for that. But immediately after going out, we made like a lap, and they black flagged me. Yeah. And said it's 108 decibels at its peak. Really? And what is the limit? It's got to be below 100. Oh wow. Okay. The car usually reads at like 98. But come look. The silencer <laughs> blew out a little bit. A little bit. Halfway out. Yeah, I knew it. So like, it's like that now. <laughs> fixed it's quiet enough now well so the brakes on the other hand i started braking before the finish line yeah and i barely stopped in time to make that really turn. yeah after that i was like oh hell no keep the base brakes yeah they're base model brakes not even acabonos and daniel just be out here <laughs> yeah race pads and rotors but they're just not big enough they can't disperse that heat so well, that's where we're at right now the car is fast it's sliding around because it's pretty cold outside yeah but that thing's the biggest a few times. place that is suffering is brakes now i've never had this problem before you don't yeah. have this issue in autocross yeah what about the tires what do you think of them so far the tires Tires are good. They need to get warmer because it's really? cold. They're sliding around, but whenever they spin, they hook up like immediately because they get yeah. hot. So am I driving with it in auto first? Uh, I would leave it in auto the entire time. Okay. And everything's in race mode pretty yep. much? It's ready to go. All right. Yeah, you are playing. It's definitely faster than my car. <laughs> <laughs> Good God, this thing goes, bro. Yep. Oh, I'm not even going to go hard around this turn. I'm just going to stop and say, I'm sorry for whatever head ass nonsense I said earlier about my car being just as fast. I didn't know it would take that short of a time for you to say it. <laughs> oh my God. My car is fast, but it's not this fast. Oh my God, effortless braking, bro. Oh yeah. Dude, I'm barely even doing anything to drive this <laughs> car right now. This is minimal effort. Let's go. I hope you don't mind, but I'm gonna probably drive your car a little fast. As long as you don't lose traction, we're good. I won't. I'm still gonna baby it. You definitely use it. That's what we're out here for. That's what I bought it for. All right, note taken. GTR, you motherfucker! <laughs> <laughs> we got a GTR. <laughs> and then this turn, you can really come in because it loads. I love this turn. Let's go! Holy shit, Daniel! 
good f***ing driving. Oh my god. I have no idea how fast that was, but we can let it cool off now. That was f***ing fast, son. <laughs> Gotta say, that was pretty dope. That was a lot faster than I was expecting to go. Yep, that's I told way you. That's way faster than my car. I told you. The first pull after we were leaving the gate, he's like, oh shit, this thing's way faster than this thing. <laughs> what you think, dog? Oh my God, I smell brake. Well, I really like GTRs. That's a good way to put it after that. <laughs> I now have a full appreciation for GTRs and what they can do. Yeah. You don't, you don't appreciate GTRs until you track one. You yeah. can see them go fast, but it's just a fast GTR. Fact. Now I understand the engineering and the all wheel drive and the balance between all of it. I was also driving in auto. Like there were, yeah, a, few, there were a few times where I wanted to downshift again, but it was in auto. It's still fast as but yeah. <laughs> damn, dude, this thing's great. It's awesome. Oh my God. All right, now the only way that I'll go faster is because of the fact that we have less fuel in here now. Less fuel? Yep. I'm gonna be honest, the only reason that I drive like that is because I play on the sim so much. I believe that, I really do. Dude, sim racing makes such a big difference in driving experience. I never thought it would really help that much, but it's crazy. I believe that. Thanks for letting me drive this. Oh, yeah. That was very eye-opening. Fact. It was awesome. Thank you for inspiring confidence in me a little bit. The no first problem. time I was like, ooh, it's sliding a little bit and I'm uncomfortable. But then <laughs> I saw you and I was like, I. You just gotta know how to handle it. <laughs> 